Hey guys, it's Rai123 here, and today I'm coming out with you with another Roblox tutorial. I know I promised this yesterday, and I'm sorry that I didn't get it out to you. I was got occupied as soon as I put out that um, previous video about thanking you guys. Actually, if you haven't checked it out yet, you should. Um, it's a nice video for you guys. Um, it's not really like the coolest video, but it's still nice. Um, anyways, so yeah, if you guys like to check that out, it's just the last video that I posted. Anyways, if I sound kind of like irritated or like I'm talking really fast in this tutorial, that's because I already did the whole tutorial. My microphone just wasn't plugged in all the way, so I didn't get any of the audio. And so I kind of have to do it again. So let's get started. Um, if you haven't noticed, I have these two new GUI buttons up here because um, today we're going to be working on the character mesh morphs. Um, basically, in your starter GUI, you're going to need to put a screen GUI. You can call it whatever you want. And then inside, you're going to need a frame and two buttons. Inside the frame, you are going to place all the buttons you would like for the different morphs. <clears throat> now, I made this a long time ago, and it was not the best thing that I've ever made. It was kind of crappy. Um, so it doesn't, it wasn't the best, so I tried to remake it, but I kind of got bored of remaking it, so I only remade half of it. So <laughs> that's why it looks retarded like this, but um, just go ahead and like hide the frame and the buttons. And um, let's go ahead and take a look. Sorry, my dog wants to go outside. She never wants to go outside until I start doing these tutorials. Good thing I'm right by the door. Anyways, let's take a look at the close script. So basically, this top line just gets the frame script.parent.parent.bg. If we follow that, script.parent.parent.bg. And then the buttons gets the all the buttons inside of the frame into an array. Now you are going to use this to call this function which will disable the or, yeah, disable the script for a debounce, cause the frame to go invisible and for each of the buttons it will also cause them to go invisible by using this for loop on this array. Then it will wait half a second and it will re-enable the script. The open one is pretty much the same except just this value right here and this one are changed to true instead of false. Alright, so that was pretty simple. The next thing you're going to need is inside each of the buttons you are going to need a script. Inside each of the scripts you are going to need the different character meshes. Now to get these I could sit here and show you every single body part base texture ID, overlay texture ID, but that's not going to happen. So what you're going to want to do is come over here to models and search for like the different um, the character meshes, right? The different character meshes and you're just going to like get them and put them in if I don't lag and then you can just put them inside the script it doesn't matter. I know it says Robloxian 2.0, but they have the right IDs and stuff. Um, I already have them, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete them. But it doesn't matter what you call them. You can call them. That's why those ones were still called Robloxian 2.0. But the way the script works, the name of them does not matter. I hate YouTube ads. Um, Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the script. So once you get the meshes and you put them inside the script that's inside the button, you are going to go ahead and um, make a script that looks like this. Basically, the victim is defining the player's character, which is the physical one, the one that is inside workspace, the one that we can actually do stuff with. Then we are going to use this line to call the onclicked event for the button or the mouse, I guess it's a mouse button one down event, and it's going to call the function kill, which will get all the children of our player's character and remove any existing character meshes. This is so if they're already, like, per or say, have the Robloxian 2.0 mesh, it will remove it so that it can add the new ones. 
Um, after those are removed, it gets all the children of this script and it clones them and places them inside the victim. So if you need, you can go ahead and pause that to copy that script over. And um, let me go ahead and we'll play this place in offline mode so that I can show you that it works. So here we are. Let's open this again. Again, it's derpy, but as you can see, as I click the buttons, my guy will morph into each one of the different character meshes, uh, respectively. Um, so, yeah, that is actually, I think my favorite is Lord Griswold. I think he looks the coolest, but <laughs> I know that's random. And then this one will just completely remove the character. Oh, yeah, for the Robloxian 2.0, or I mean the 1.0, what you can do, um, I forgot to mention that, is you can either, where is it, um, Robloxian 1. For the Robloxian 1.0, you can either keep the script the same and just not put any character meshes inside of it. Because what the way this script works is it looks for character meshes and if um, there aren't any, then it just doesn't do anything, but it will still remove them. Or, if you just want to be a more tidy scripter, you can just delete this entire part and it will still produce the same result. Um, either way, it'll work, but just, I actually forgot to mention that in the last video, so I'm glad my thing didn't work out so I could mention that to you guys. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Please take half a ha la 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 la. please take half a second to leave a like if you enjoyed and found this helpful. Um, again, um, if you have a problem with it, please post your comment and your output down below. Post any suggestions you may have for future tutorials, and please subscribe if you're new because we'd love to have you as a viewer. Um, probably going to put out some videos tomorrow if I'm not too busy. Tomorrow is our um, end of season swim party, which I will be attending, and it's at like a while, but I have an essay to write before that, and that's why I might not have enough time for this. Oh, crap, my mom was calling me. I'm going to die. Um... Anyways, guys, sorry, that was random. <laughs> oh, gosh, and I have the hiccups. Um, better finish this quick. Hope you have a good day. I love you all. Peace out.